candid and straight to the point. This is the best radio show in the state of Wisconsin. Truth in the Afternoon with Dr. Ken Harris on 1017 The Truth and The Truth App. Now, he's the mayor of the city of Milwaukee. He's a young man. Give him a chance. I only complain about things that I care about. What I want you to do is pretend like I'm in St. Louis. And all I'm asking the mayor and the common council president and the common council, show me. Now, live from the American Family Insurance Studio at the Avenue in the heart of downtown Milwaukee, here is Dr. Ken Harris. You're listening to Truth in the Afternoon. I'm your host, Dr. Ken Harris. 833-212-1017 is the number. So when I when I try to do things now, I just put it in front of my face and take care of it because, you know, I'm live on, where am I live? YouTube, my YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook. But I say check out 1017 The Truth on LinkedIn, like 101.7 The Truth Live. And then I pop up like a little snowflake, just pop up. So I was having one of those struggling moments today because contrary to popular belief, somebody was complaining to me. And it kind of disturbed me because there, there are just some truths that will always be present, that will always be in a particular place. And I think sometimes we forget that because some, some, sometimes we don't tell people um, the honest truth, right? So some people say I'm an ear hustler, right? I, I listen to, I, I, I sit and I listen to what people say. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's pretty, you know, and then I kind of use it and talk about how it impacts me, things like that. And so I've been trying to come up with a way to say something that people wouldn't find it offensive. But what I'm finding out is there's, there's really no way to not offend or not upset or not make people feel a certain way. Like there's literally, oops, there's literally nothing you can do. And I've tried to help people understand certain things, but it's not going to work. So I got a couple suggestions for people who are complaining and upset and all around just bothered by life. If you're in a room... And the room is on fire. Get out the room. Like it's, it's kind of that simple. Number two, if you want to be successful, you have to remember you cannot be successful without bleeding. Like it's going to take blood. It's going to take sweat. It's going to take tears. We like to scream and cry and talk about that. But in the end, that's what it takes. So the question I have for you, number three, is do you have the stomach to be successful? 
Do you have the stomach, the fight, the tenacity, the resilience to win? I spoke to a person today who was 30 years old, female, who said, kids today are weak. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm in my 60s and you're 30, literally. You, 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 you're a kid yourself, right? That's what I'm thinking in my mind. But then I said, why do you say that? And this person said, because I, I was in the military for six years. And there's no way today kids could take going into the military. And I said, why? She said, they, they don't have the stomach for it. And I said, why? And she said, because if you're going to be successful, you have to recognize people are going to hate you. And I said, well, what do you mean by that? She said, people are going to hate you. She said, those complimentary, those, those, that praise and adulation you get, yeah. If it's 100 people, she said, yeah, it's going to be at least 50 other people that's going to rain on your parade every day. And there's nothing you can do about it. And there's nothing you should do about it. There's going to be crying, bleeding, gnashing of teeth, all that. You say backstabbing. Well, but that comes with it. And so Everybody backstabs. Everybody works to their own best interests. The difference is when you expect it, it's not that big of a deal. Like when something happens and you're doing something and you're working with people, they're going to work to their own best interests. I'm perfectly fine with that as long as you're upfront about it. And that's part of the problem. And so what comes with that is, is making it through the fire, making it through the rain, making it through the bleeding, the, the sweat and the tears, not being able to stomach it, you really have to be humble. There was a story that was told the other day. I was listening to a podcast, and this person had sold literally millions of books like 26 million, 30 million books, like million books, not a couple hundred, million. And they would always check with their wife and say, you know, they had a number they could call to see where they would end up on the bestseller list. And so what they did is this person was like across the country and called home and said, hey, can you make a phone call for me and find out where I'm at on the bestseller list this week? Because it was like a Friday night or Saturday morning, and they wanted to know, Sunday morning, where am I going to end up on the bestseller list? I want to see myself, right? And so he calls his wife and says, here's the number. Call and check. I want to know where I'm going to be because most of the people that are there, they have access ahead of time, so they'll know where they're going to be. And so she calls. And he, he, he gets busy, and he leaves, and then when he comes back, he calls her. Hey, Saturday night, about to go to bed on the West Coast, so I know it's late there. Where am I on the bestsellers list? Now, granted, this person's been on the bestseller list for like 56 weeks, 57 weeks. So it's been over a, a little over a year they were on the bestseller list. And he called his wife and his wife said, hey, honey. He said, where am I on the bestseller list? And she said, you're not. And he was Wait a minute. For the last 56 weeks, I was on the bestseller list. She said, oh, you're not. 
your book is. And it made him realize that he's not the book. He's not on the list. The book is. Be humble. And it made me realize, newsflash, contrary to what my open says, this show, I'm not the best radio show. My show is. And that is Dr. Ken's Truth on the new 1017 The Truth. So I'm on to say the flu is preventable, but we can make it less severe and spend less time in the hospital. As an underinsured group that's on intimate terms with death, that we don't exercise, we don't eat healthy. Now, of course, this isn't everybody, but it still impacts us more than anybody else. And so I can talk about racism. I think that we have some choices that we can make that we know can improve our outcomes, but we still seem to be so incredibly defiant. Listen to The Truth with Sherwin Hughes, weekdays from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Fred. Why choose Erie Insurance? The passion that we put around your personal development and your growth. We pay for you to go to college. Wait, wait, wait. What? Yes, we will help pay for you to go to college. So you get your foot in the door with us, we will help advance your career. Okay. We will help you get the designations, like I mentioned. It's even easier now. I'm doing it from the outset with our diverse communities to help them get these designations and licenses before you even show up inside the doors of Erie Insurance. Visit ErieInsurance.com for more information. One call, that's all, Gruber Law Offices. If you or a loved one is ever injured in an accident, you should hire a law firm with proven results who stands up for victims and takes the burden off your shoulders. Gruber Law Offices has been serving our community for over 35 years and provides the best care, service, and consulting with no fee until they win your case. Visit gruber-law.com or contact them at 414-276-6666. Make one call, that's all, with Gruber Law Offices. Hi, I'm Nicole, and I lost my 10-year-old daughter, Teresa, to COVID in just a few short days. Teresa was a healthy child who loved to dance. When Teresa got sick, I didn't think it was serious until she was rushed to the hospital. COVID and flu can be serious for anyone, but they're especially dangerous for communities of color. Please get your COVID and flu vaccines and stay up to date on all immunizations, because vaccines save lives. To learn how to protect your family, visit vaccinateyourfamily.org slash learn. Ready to ride? Just let me get my flip-flops on. Whoa, Mom and Dad are going for a ride without their protective gear. Quick, grab the checklist. I'll grab the gear. Just where do you two think you're going without your safety gear? Yeah, you know how we feel about riding without your gear. Well, um, it's so nice out. And we're only going for a short ride. Not before you put all this gear on, you're not. But, ahem, <clears throat> riding pants? Okay. Check. Motorcycle boots? Bye-bye, flip-flops. Check. Armored jackets? Nice. Check. Riding gloves? Two pairs. Check. Last but not least, full-face helmets. Check. Check. Now you're ready to ride. And you look cool. All the gear, all the time. Zero in Wisconsin. Together, we can save lives. Learn more at zeroinwisconsin.gov. Be home on time for dinner. Sponsored by the Wisconsin Department of Transportation. The Truth in the Afternoon with Dr. Ken Harris is next on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. You're listening to Truth in the Afternoon. I'm your host, Dr. Ken Harris. So I was sneaking and eating a chip, right? So being diabetic, you eat five times a day. And so I make sure I eat small meals, but I eat. And then I snack in between. So my snack are chips from Qdoba, right? So I, I call myself, oh, show is starting. Let me, let me reach in and get me a chip. That's what I got. 
Now I'm ex- I'm expecting a really really big, you know, I can like stuff it in my face and, and crunch down on that. This. If you're on YouTube watching, it's this. Really? Yeah. <sighs> so much for that. I'm a little disappointed. The 1017 The Truth Team, sponsored by UW Credit Union, is coming to an event near you. Join me. I'll be broadcasting here in the studio. The American Family Insurance Studio at the Avenue. And you'll be able to hear me outside because from four to six, I'll be celebrating with the Milwaukee Night Market. It's the final one of the summer. So 1017 The Truth Street Team is sponsored by UW Credit Union. They're here for every you. So I'll be hanging out here live in the studio. Um, we'll have speakers and all sorts of stuff outside. So you'll be able to hear me. And if you want, come in and see me and then do it like that. So it'll be pretty cool. I think it will be pretty cool. 833-212-1017 is the number. So I got a dumb question. And I know people say that there's no such thing as a dumb question, but sometimes they're dumb questions. Sometimes I lay around and I sit up late and I think these esoteric thoughts. I think these things that, mm, things that are bigger than me. Stuff that, like, like LT asked the other day. About the hieroglyphics, the um, discoveries that we've made, and then we attribute it to white people. When clearly... People in Africa, people in Mexico, now today Mexico, Central America, those areas have done phenomenal things. Um, We still attribute it to the person that discovered it and not the people that did it. But a question I had today was, what will cause civilization to end? Like, we're so stuck on growth and technology and creating new things and AI and chat GPT and XYZ and all this other stuff that have we, have we actually given thought to what happens if, not when, but if all this ends? I mean, and what will cause civilization to end? We've had, quote unquote, wars and rumors of wars for centuries. Some would say, dare say, millennia. But now we're in a really, 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 really different place. Now, this is just me. If you have any thoughts on it, 833-212-1017. I'm perplexed because so few people are being born in the world today. Whether you agree or disagree to the depth or the cause, we've got global warming. We've got a lack of water in many places. So Arizona, God willing, if I live to my 90s, I'll probably see a time when Arizona runs out of water because some towns in Arizona have actually run out of water. As we know it, what will cause us to end? Not some foreign alien craft coming out the sky and blowing the earth to, you know, obliterated because they want molecules or or minerals or whatever. I mean, at the rate that we're going with crime, with food issues, water issues. I remember a time growing up when they said, if you're not in the basin, you can't get any water from the Great Lakes. 
hit a tributary. Well, some of the tributaries, like, I don't know, Mississippi River and all these other lakes in Minnesota, I don't know. Can you tell that's not my jam? It's not. So, <laughs> geography. Eh. But all those things aren't anymore. Is it the air? Well, we've become significantly more um, efficient in our air and our trucks and our cars. So we're not spewing anywhere near. And, and if we were going to die, we would have died already because we've still got other unindustrialized, non-industrialized countries like China spewing black smoke into the air. Same with Russia and a couple other countries. But by and large, the majority of us are doing fairly well. We've got fuel-efficient cars, for lack of a better phrase, ozone-efficient cars, right? But things seem to be slowing a bit. We don't, we don't have kids being born the way they used to be. In some instances, we have kids being born at scary young ages. Or they're not being born at all. And when colleges start to break down because of less people going to college, we think the income gap is going to get bigger. The income gap is going to be a ceiling. And it's going to be everybody above it and everybody below it. And we won't have to worry about a gap. We'll start telling people who's going to get to go to school and who's not going to get to go to school because we don't have the teachers, the professors, to actually do the work because nobody's going to college. Interesting. 833-212-1017 is the number. LT said, Dr. Ken, in our discussion yesterday, I forgot to mention, what do you think about the idea of putting hot sauce on wings being attributed to a white guy in Buffalo, New York? And civilization will never end. It will only evolve unless the sun explodes. I disagree with that. We have become, as a people, and I'm talking about black people, we have become gullible. We have allowed people to come in and commandeer our vote, our money, and give us nothing in return. Instead of giving you a plan, Hillary Clinton said she had hot sauce in her purse. Pandering. Biden said, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. And Charlemagne the God called them on it. Pandering. You need to do something about all the crime and all the stuff that's going on in your neighborhood. Republicans. Pandering. If you want this, you got to get it. If you want a 2%, you got to do this. You got to turn the police over to this. You got to get rid of that. You got to so that other people can control your city without being elected. Pandering. There's a white guy who said the idea of putting hot sauce on wings attributed to a white guy because we let him. We let him give us Cadillacs. We let him give us Cavassier. We let him put all that in music videos. We let black women dance. provocatively and then made them objects. We did that. Marquina said we've even had some claiming to be Jesus. And you need to understand it is not about being Democrat or Republican. People keep calling me and saying, oh, you sound like you're a Republican. Why is it that when somebody bangs on Democrats, instead of taking it for what it is in relation to that person, 
we automatically say, oh, you must hate Democrats. Really? Like you're that? That's the word I'm looking for so I can be respectful. You're, you drank the Kool-Aid that much that you can't fathom something different? I don't get it. So you have people coming to tell you or think about you that all I have to do is show you some hot sauce, show some camaraderie, not money, how to get a job, how to build a business, how to put money in your household. Forget your community because if you build up the household, the community goes up with it. Nah, we're not going to do that. I'm going to just show some hot sauce because I don't respect black people enough to actually give them a plan because they are not part of the plan to begin with. And we kiss the ring as if we're going to get something. And they sprinkle a few black people around you that got something from them and say, see, that's why you should keep voting for me because we do save y'all. And then they don't. 833-212-1017 is the number. Give me a call. I want to know. What's your idea of what will cause civilization to end? But I want a solution to stop it. We can't just say, oh, it's terrible. We don't have. I want to know a solution. 833-212-1017 is the number. Traffic, sports, and weather up next. You are listening to Truth in the Afternoon with Dr. Ken Harris on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Hello Windows and Doors of Wisconsin plays at an MVP level. They came in ahead of time to make sure they had all of the measurements. When the Pella people left, you had no idea they had been here. You just had the new window. It's Dr. Ken from 1017 The Truth for Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Right now... Pay as low as $19 a month per window and $75 per month on patio doors. Visit LLWI.com today. Six ninety nine dollars APR for 120 bucks. Certain restrictions apply. See shower for details. Offers end at 9 2023. Are you tired of all that clutter piling up at home or your business? Well, the Smith Brothers Junk Removal is here to make your junk disappear. They are a full-service junk removal and demolition company servicing residential and commercial clients. The Smith Brothers will haul away and recycle anything. Just send them a picture and receive an instant quote. And when you mention this ad on 1017 The Truth, you get an extra $50 off. Open six days a week, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. The Smith Brothers serve all of southeastern Wisconsin. We need each other. Now more than ever. Because every someone needs someone else. We need each other. Because when we work together, we can do so much more. When we work together, we connect more children with what they need to grow up healthy, educated, and safe. And that's what Child Fund is all about. Together, we co-create, support, and sustain connections that lead to greater well-being for millions of children facing poverty. Which also benefits their families, their communities, their countries, and you. Because when you make someone's world better, you make everyone's world better. Child Fund. Because we need each other. To learn how Child Fund works with children in 24 countries to achieve their full potential, visit childfund.org. That's childfund.org. The next disaster is coming. The time to get ready is now. Make a plan. Identify meetup locations and people you'll need to contact. Put your contact list in your wallet, on your phone, and somewhere visible in your home. Build a kit. Store enough food and water for three days. Don't forget your pets. And consider buying a pre-made kit. Keep at least seven days of medication on hand. Work with your pharmacist and insurance company to secure the extra doses. Make copies of important documents. Keep them on your phone, in the cloud, or on a USB stick. Stay informed. Learn about local hazards. Take courses in CPR and first aid 
and sign up for local alert systems. An early warning can give you the time you need to prepare for a fast-moving disaster. Be ready. Learn more at americares.org slash send us in. Backups continue with this accident on 41 southbound just past the county line road. Coming in from Washington County is going to be a little bit tight. And then back on the brakes from Appleton Avenue down past Burleigh. The northbound side slow out of the zoo interchange out to Swan Boulevard. Westbound 94 heavy from the Marquette all the way to about Mitchell Boulevard. And check out the TMJ4 Storm Team forecast. Tonight, chance for showers, mainly early, partly cloudy otherwise, with a low of 56 at the lake, 50 inland. Tomorrow, a slight chance for a morning shower, mostly sunny with a high of 64 at the lake, 70 inland. From the WTMJ Traffic Center, I'm Debbie Lazaga on 1017 The Truth. This is Associated Bank Sports Update on 1017 The Truth is powered by ESPN Milwaukee. I'm Brandon Snyam. The Milwaukee Brewers were back in action on a Monday night. Brandon Woodruff getting the start for the Brew Crew, delivering a masterpiece, tossing a complete game shutout in the NL Central leading Brewers offense, collected a season high 17 hits in a 12 0 win. Game two of four tonight from American Family Field. That first pitch is all set for 640. Over to football, where Aaron Rodgers led the Jets out of the tunnel on Monday night football, and it would be unfortunately a short night for the four time MVP, only lasting four snaps on offense before going down with an apparent ankle injury following a sack in the first quarter. Head coach Robert Sala delivering the news post game with an update on number eight. Concerned with his Achilles. Uh, MRI is probably going to confirm what we think is already going to happen. So prayers tonight, but it's not good. The Jets would go on to win the game in overtime by a final score of 22 to 16. This sports update is brought to you by Associated Bank, proudly supporting your hometown team's member FDIC. This is Truth in the Afternoon with Dr. Ken Harris on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. You're listening to Truth in the Afternoon. I'm your host, Dr. Ken Harris. 833-212-1017 is the number. So, Black Conscience said, we embrace malt malt liquor. Uh, I don't know if that's all of it, but I don't know. And and so it's it's we embrace what they gave us. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? We embrace what they gave us. We didn't have enough sense to tell them we didn't want that because it tasted good or it smelled good or it looked good, and then later it found out that it wasn't good. And so Security Mike said this climate stuff and AI goes wrong and hate each other. Another I think is a big war. I don't, I don't think there's going to be a big war. Today's generation is too docile to go to war. They're not fighting. Many are pacifists. And so... While, while I understand and respect that, I don't understand and respect defending yourself. We've let so much come into our community that we have to start throwing it out. We gotta start saying no. We have to start telling people that are not adults, when they do something wrong, it's wrong. If you're an adult and you do something, it don't bother me. You know what? I, I, I can't say nothing to you. I got my own baggage. But when it's a child, no. I told somebody something one time, and they told me, as, as a rebuttal to my statement, that I was heartless 
and I had no compassion, which might have been true. But <laughs> I don't think they understood that that they were looking at my community from their point of view. And so this person who, let me add, has significant wealth. I don't mean kind of rich. I mean significant wealth. This is probably worth a good $10 million. So if they write a check for a quarter of a million dollars to give to somebody, it's not a big deal. And they asked me one day, what are we going to do about all the issues in the black community? And my reply was, well, I don't know. What did we do when white society decided to act a fool in the late 60s and the early 70s and had free love and flower children and hippies and all that stuff? Like, what'd y'all do? And it was a white male. And his response was, well, what we did, what we did, what we did is we let them die. And I said, what? He said, yeah. Like society was already set and there was a, hey, this is how you conform and do this and do this and you get this reward and a job and all that. And if you don't, we just kind of leave you to your own druthers. And I was like, your own what? He said, we, we just leave you alone. And if you become homeless, you're homeless. And if you get sick, you get sick. And if you want to conform and if you want to come in and do this and do that, then we got you. But if you don't, we don't. And I thought about that. I said, yeah, I think that's what we should do in the black community. Oh, no, you can't do that. Oh, well, people, they have significantly less and they don't have this. I said, so what I'm hearing is that you look at black people as children. That God put you on this earth to take care of? Like, what is that? We'll never get the tools we need in order to take care of our own community because you keep taking them from us. You keep not giving them. You keep snatching them away. And, and you don't snatch them to show us how to use it. You snatch it because you don't want us to have it. And the number one tool in the black community that you can use to rise up above everything and everybody is money. And the only time I've ever seen the white community act a fool regarding black people is when it came to money. If we tear stuff up and burn stuff down in our community, they don't care. When you start getting mad and go to Wauwatosa, go to Whitefish Bay, go to Glendale, oh, they get mad. Huh. Go to the South Side, they get mad. So we need to wake up to understanding that we have to draw a bright line in the middle of the road. And we need to start to explain to people that th there is a, while it is incumbent upon us, noblesse oblige gives us the opportunity for those that have to help those who don't. That's one thing. But if you take advantage of me, I got to cut you loose. I got to let you go. Project said white people will destroy the planet. They're driven animals and groups of humans to extinction. They've killed the Great Barrier Reef, polluted the land, air, and sea, perpetrated the worst atrocities known to man, i.e. slavery, the Holocaust, and dropping multiple nuclear bombs. The solution is to get rid of them. So you sound like the Rex is uh, a nationalist white guy. So... I'm just saying. Mike from Mill Rose said, wow, you said a lot right there. I hope people really heard that. I do too. CR Note said, ignorance and stubbornness is what will kill the world as we know it. Solutions is educating the populace, which is the great equalizer. Nah. 
I think it's not just education. I think it's education and money. Education with no tool, no lever to activate it doesn't do you any good. Like, if you get a new job, you actually have to sustain yourself until you can actually get your first check. So you need money. Change a neighborhood by building out buildings, business, streets, roads, street lights, street signs. You need, oh, money. To send your kids to school, to make sure they get a college education. I just find it interesting that we don't make people pay for elementary school and middle school, but we make them pay for high school and college. Does that even make any sense? You would think at a time when people have access and they've learned and they've proven themselves, that's when you would actually pay for them to go to school. I think if parents fed into their kids as children, I'm, I'm just throwing out options, just whatever comes to the top of my head. But in the end, the issue is, what will we do? Because at the rate that we're going, believe it or not, station is going to end sooner than we think. More of Truth in the Afternoon with Dr. Ken Harris is next on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Tap into Milwaukee's most entertaining morning show. Hey, good morning. Y'all should change this station to the butt naked truth. <laughs> that was the butt naked truth. Miss DC, I. Oh, my ooh, God. I'm, scared I love of you. That. Ooh, I'm so scared of you. I mean, it's like, oh, you just. You sweet, but when somebody rub you the wrong way, you better look out. Listen to Truth Be Told with DT and Telly weekdays from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. on the award-winning 1017 The Truth. Sharon needed legal help. She needed Gruber Law Offices. When I think about Gruber Law Office, I think about how they took care of me, how they make sure that you get what you're supposed to get. Gruber Law Office. One call, that's all. I will always, always trust one call, that's all. Injured? Call Gruber Law Offices today. One call, that's all. They are the best. I'm very happy. Are you a mom, grandparent, caretaker, or pregnant and postpartum woman who cares for a five-year-old or younger? If yes, then you should be enrolled in WIC. WIC is a women, infants, and children program and provides healthy foods, nutrition education, breastfeeding counseling, and support. Participation in WIC is associated with better nutrition for families, but also healthier births and lower infant mortality. Hunger Task Force is here to support eligible pregnant and postpartum women, grandparents, and caretakers who care for children. Learn more about WIC and how you can support nutritious foods for infants and children at www.hungertaskforce.org. On Diversity and Excellence Powered by Erie Insurance, I am so excited to talk about the different ways that Erie Insurance can help with our community growth, can provide job opportunities from Erie Insurance Corporate or with our local agency force. I'm really excited about the education of generational wealth in our black and brown communities and how we are a part of the communities here locally. There's so much more we can be a part of. Listen to me, Fred Johnson on Diversity and Excellence Powered by Erie Insurance. We are the NFHS. That stands for the National Federation of State High School Associations. But really, what we stand for, together with the WIAA, are the 178,000 high school sports students in Wisconsin. And so we stand. We stand for the runners, soccer, and basketball players. We stand for their coaches, administrators, and officials. We stand for the swimmers, football players, and wrestlers. We stand for the golfers, softball, and volleyball players. We stand as the national leader and advocate for high school athletics and all who participate in them and make them possible. Because it is our purpose to ensure that high school students get to play, perform, and compete together. To learn more about who we are and what we stand for, visit nfhs.org. 
The Truth in the Afternoon with Dr. Ken Harris is next on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app at 1017thetruth.com. You're listening to Truth in the Afternoon. I'm your host, Dr. Ken Harris, 833-212-1017 is the number. The Truth is now home of Marquette University High School football. The Marquette Hilltoppers are on a roll and look to make it four wins in a row as they take on conference foe. Menominee Falls, Phoenix. Kickoff is this Friday, 7 p.m. Pre-game at 6.30. Tory Lowe Show at 6, so it'll be a full Friday, so high school sports on the award-winning 1017 The Truth is sponsored by Gruber Law Offices. One call. That is all. 833 two. <laughs> two I'm looking at a little baby walking through the avenue. So here, here's what was, was driving me crazy, even though before I go back to my talking text line. I never thought about it when I was younger. And I had younger kids. But I can't imagine buying baby clothes today. Like the the like I'm looking at babies, like literally maybe one and a half, two, just walking with crocs on. I'm like, you are ruining that child's feet. They don't have a foundation or anything. They don't have a shoe that supports them, their Achilles. Tendon, nothing, just Crocs. Saw a woman the other day, she was dressed beautifully. I mean, she was well put together. Hair, nails. You couldn't tell she was wearing makeup, but I think she was wearing makeup. But if she wasn't wearing makeup, her face was perfect. Lips, very light lipstick, all that, nice. With her husband, you could see the big ring on her finger, the ring on his finger. Beautiful couple. And then I looked down at her feet and she had them fluffy house shoes on. And I said, you know what? Cancel everything. I don't get it. And then I thought about it. I said, wait a minute. She just got out the driver's side of a car. She drove with them things on? Can you imagine what would happen if that shoe slips off and jams underneath the pedal and you'd be trying to I was just like, yeah, put some shoes on. I don't get it. Maybe I'm too old to get it, and I'm really happy about that. 833-212-1017. It costs $20,000 to send my kid to kindergarten. No, it don't. Project, it don't cost $20,000 to send your kid to kindergarten. It's only like sixteen grand. <laughs> <laughs> the caller said Confederate terrorists who attacked this country on January 6th. Actually, they weren't Confederate terrorists, so don't get it twisted. They weren't from the South. They weren't Confederate Army or anything like that. So should be viewed and treated like the terrorists who attacked the country on 9-11 and those who did the same at Fort Sumter. Okay. Mike from Mill Row said, I don't even think about <laughs> the Crocs. <laughs> I'm just saying the kid has no foundation on their foot. So how could they possibly learn how to uh, The caller say, Doc, you don't have grandkids? No, I don't have grandchildren. You sound shocked. 
You look shocked. Your words look shocked. No, I'm just. No, I don't have any grandchildren. It's okay. World will be okay. I'm not like, oh my God, I want grandchildren. It just, I just, uh, whatever happens, happens. Life happens. 833-212-1017 is the number. You know, for the last hour, I've been pontificating about just really what's going to end us all. I mean, barring the Christian belief, Muslim belief, you know, Sikh, Hindu, all that, right, of God and coming back and a new world and all that, I'm talking about what's going to end us, like what's going to cause it to stop. What's going to cause us to pause and say, we really need to come together to do. Because I'm tired of watching these little, you know, hokey movies that come on late at night and on streaming about the the next issue we're having in the world. You know, the <clears throat> what, what was the worst one I saw? Mega monsters, sharks, and Sharknado, and all this other trash, right? Although the East Coast is about to have tar- sh- shark, shark, Sharknado because Hurricane Lee is threatening... New England and Maine and the water's starting to roll in and um, it's already a category th- three and it's in the tropics right now and it's going to be hidden. So it's, it's, it's about to head over. I can't tell which way it's going though. It looks like it's going North. Yes, it's going North. So it'll be passing through Bermuda and then headed for the coast and, they expect it to head up the Atlantic coast and smack people around and beat people up and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, silly. Uh, Mike from Mill Rose said, more perfect than Jane Kennedy or Van. Is Jane Kennedy still alive? I wonder. Jane Kennedy. She was fine, though. I'm just saying. Um, the black Jane Kennedy, not the Australian Jane Kennedy. Nope, that's not Jane Kennedy either. Jane Kennedy. Hmm. I can't find her. Let me see. Black actress. <laughs> Black actress. <clears throat> there she is, Jane Kennedy. Born Jane Harrison, October 27th, 1951. So she is 72 years old. She was Miss Ohio, USA, 1970, first African-American woman to win the title, and was one of 10 semifinalists in Miss USA pageant. Where's she at now? That's what I want to know. I don't see any old pictures of her. And I know she was, she was married to Leon Isaac Kennedy. Now she's married to Bill Overton. 71 years old, lives in Washington, D.C. Wait a minute. That's her? Wow. Other than some bags under her eyes. Hmm. I guess I can't go to D.C. now. (laughs) No, seriously. So, Jane Kennedy, Vanity, you know, beautiful black actresses. I think it's great. I think it's wonderful. She's 71 years old. She looks phenomenal. Looks absolutely great. I just don't get the fluffy shoes. The fluffy shoes just throw me. I mean, wear fluffy shoes if you got some some Lululemon on. You know what I'm saying? If you got some, don't wear fluffy shoes when you're, you're literally dressed in a suit and you look really nice and you have a skirt on and stockings and you look really nice and then i look down and you got brown fluffy shoes on i'm like what what that's just weird have you ever worn high heels yes oh well you know they're not comfortable that's not the point the point is you left home like that you chose to leave home that's weird to me 
maybe she was like in the between stages of going somewhere or coming from somewhere. I don't know. I don't blame her. You just take it up. You just take it up for people. Every time I say something, you just take it up for the other person. Hurt my feelings. I'm gonna go cry now. (sighs) (laughs) I mean. We wore stack heels back in the 70s. They were like three, four inches, right? I mean, I'm just saying. The 1017 The Truth Street Team, sponsored by UW Credit Union, is coming to an event near you. Join us this Wednesday as Dr. Ken Harris will be broadcasting live from the Milwaukee Night Market located right in the front of the 3rd Street Market Hall. Come watch Dr. Ken do his thing live from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. as we celebrate the final Milwaukee Night Market of the summer. The 1017 The True Street Team is sponsored by UW Credit Union. They are here for every you. Join the livest talk and text fan base in the country. You're your fault. Well, you speak the truth. It's 1017 The Truth. That's right. With Sherwin Hughes. That's right. So it's your particular truth. Keep calling. You're on the new 1017 The Truth. Tap in. Keep texting. Because Mike from Mill Road just said, I hope Mel never even thinks about another man when she's booed up because sheesh. Keep being you, Truth Nation. I just thank y'all for bringing awareness to our community. Milwaukee Black Talk, 1017 The Truth. We didn't know what to expect. We were just just left in a hotel. My mom was doing drugs in the house. Tay and Brianna spent years of their childhood in homes that weren't safe. They were placed in foster care and longed for a permanent, loving home. I didn't know what my future was. I wouldn't speak to anyone. I was afraid of everything. With help from the Dave Thomas Foundation for Adoption, Brianna and Tay were adopted and now feel excited about their futures. I'm studying to be a chef and I really want to travel the world. I'm gonna be a mechanic and I can focus on my career. Right now, in the United States, there are more than 100,000 children in foster care just like Brianna and Tay, who need a family now. Learn how you can help at DaveThomasFoundation.org. The key slides into the ignition. The engine rumbles to life. My hand grips the throttle. New gear for my ride. The road, my invitation. The sound, the smell, the exhilaration. I am one with the bike, and the car in front of me suddenly turns in my lane. Motorcycles are everywhere, but too often go unnoticed. Please, always look twice, be alert, and share the road with motorcycles at all times. Sponsored by the Wisconsin Department of Transportation. Dear Hero, thank you for donating plasma. I recently moved off the reservation, which meant a lot of stress, and that started a spiral of attacks. I take the plasma injections bi-weekly, and I haven't had any attacks since trying it. It's just gone. Because of you, I feel amazing. Giving equals living. Give plasma. Replenish the supply. Learn more at hhs.gov slash give plasma. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. All of your favorite 1017 The Truth content whenever you want. The Truth app has it all. The Truth is on 1017 and 1510 WGKB Waukesha, a locally owned Good Karma brand station. Bringing you his authentic perspectives on important topics. They live in suburbs together. They live in the city together. They hang out together, all in the same family. We're the only idiots that fight because we want our voice to only be on one side. Like, does that even make any sense? And when the side loses, you lose everything. They, on the other hand, have a voice no matter what because somebody that looks like them is always in in control. Frank, candid, and straight to the point. Well, it's just a skewed uh, system. Of course it is. It's a lot of adjustment. But but answer my question, though. Should we let people go? Should we let people go? Like, let's just forget about bail altogether. And if your neighbor commits a homicide and kills people up... Nah, 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 nah. If you kill people and they next to you and you just let them come back and live right next to you, they can live upstairs from you. Let them come in your house. Frank, candid and straight to the point. This is the best radio show in the state of Wisconsin. Truth in the afternoon with Dr. Ken Harris on 1017 The Truth and The Truth App. Now, he's the mayor of the city of Milwaukee. 
He's a young man. Give him a chance. I only complain about things that I care about. What I want you to do is pretend like I'm in St. Louis. And all I'm asking the mayor and the common council president and the common council, show me. Now, live from the American Family Insurance Studio at the Avenue in the heart of downtown Milwaukee, here is Dr. Ken Harris. You're listening to Truth in the Afternoon. I'm your host, Dr. Ken Harris. 833-212-1017 is the number. I'm going to try to get to my top five, but I got the number one. You know what? Just just give me, give, give me one of these. Give me one of these. Anyway, give me one of these. Number five. So Kyle Wallace is here <clears throat> from the award-winning, uh, um, what is it, 94.5? No, award-winning 101.7 The Truth and uh, also the award-winning <laughs> Uh, 94.5 ESPN, 100.5 ESPN. Madison, trying, trying to get ESPN, him ESPN, some love, and he just down. he just turns into the talent mode. Two days on the air, he didn't took over. He didn't won awards already. He look at him. He just we, taking up taking over radio no, the, in Milwaukee. The thing I'm worried about though, Ken, is I, I'm I don't think I'm gonna do it. I don't want to put my new show up against my station because. Best radio show. I feel like anything I touch is turns to gold, and that's not me being cocky. But you ain't touched my show, though. But, but no, I mean, we, I, I used to be the producer on your show. And I, yes, I you loved, did. I, now, I wasn't the producer when y'all won. That's right. But, but I was still part of this process. DZ was here. And he, so, he rocked it. And, yep. and so, I, 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 you know, I don't, I'm worried about having to compete against the truth. I, I don't feel like, do I really win if I beat the truth? Do I really win? If I, if I knock Dr. Ken off for his best show? In uh, the state of Wisconsin. With all, with all due respect, with my storied career, the fact that I won it one time is enough for me. Like, I'm okay for the rest of my life. Like, once you reach a pinnacle of something, you're, the, you're, you're part of the best. I will always be part of the best. I want to be MJ. I want, I want multiple rings. Yeah, but MJ got old and left, oh, well, and then yeah, somebody well, else won. And one day, I hope And they won day, six, too. You just won two sets Ain't of three. Ain't won six, but, uh, well, actually, people have won six. Thank it's you. Not after MJ. Thank you. Bill Russell has quite a few. Thank you. That's all I'm saying. But um, we were going to talk about it, and I didn't hear a lot about it when it broke, um, about the Michigan State coach, Mel Tucker. Suspended amid investigations into sexual harassment of rape survivor and activists. I'm a little taken aback by the way people are positioning her as if she never overcame her victimhood and she's an activist who's worked with Michigan State. So so give us give us a quick background of this story and, and what's 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 the and so, as I was telling you, Ken, as I, I walked in, just getting off air, I walked in because I I, yeah, I didn't get enough Dr. Ken today, so I had to come in and say hello to him and. And I was telling you is that I have been working on personally of believing women. And when I say believing women, I believe women. But a lot of times as a man, I come from the perspective of the times when women aren't telling the truth. But more than likely, women are telling the truth. And so in this story, I specifically say that because with this story, this is a black man dealing with a white woman. Right. And when it comes to black men specifically, I always lean to have more compassion and empathy for the black man. But right. when I read the initial story, uh, her name was, I'm sorry, her name was Brenda Tracy. Brenda right. Tracy, and like you said, she's a, a sexual assault activist. She was raped herself. Right. And she goes to different campuses across the country and talks right. to teams about, you know, you know, how to not make people victims and how to you know right. be against sexual harassment mm -hmm. and so brenda tracy was asked by mel tucker to speak to the michigan state football team which he said he is the head coach of and so brenda tracy now is alleging that mel tucker went kind of out of line and he sexually harassed her by having these phone conversations and doing things during these phone conversations that made her feel uncomfortable and so she reported that mel tucker sexually harassed her, which led to Mel Tucker being suspended without pay by Michigan State. But there's a lot in between there in terms of what's not given in terms of time. She's been coming to Michigan State since 2018, 2019. Multiple times. She's had multiple phone calls with this guy. She's had multiple meetings with this guy. 
all this, what triggered now that all of a sudden this harassment when you sat through phone calls with him and had multiple phone calls with him with the same thing? And so, Ken, that's where was the issue with me is that when I initially saw the report come out, the report talked about how we need to believe Brenda Tracy. And I right. read the report, and right. they gave the details, and they said she gains nothing right. from reporting this because now she has to be you know, in mainstream news, mainstream media, having to go through all this. And right. I felt for her. But, Ken, once I actually saw the statement that came out from Mel Tucker, and Mel Tucker was very honest about this. This is a married man right. who has a family. Right. And he was very honest, and this is what he said. He said, Brenda Tracy's allegations of harassment are completely false. The proceeding initiated by Miss Tracy are devoid of any semblance of fairness for any matter of importance. And he went on to talk about the fact that he had an actual relationship with right. Brenda Tracy that was a consensual relationship in the text message or the conversation where he was on the phone with her and that's when she said the sexual harassment uh, happened. Right. Before that, he claims that she sent him nude photos in his phone. Right. And so what bothered me about this story is when I first read it, I didn't know these other details. Of and course not. Brenda Tracy for me, and again, I don't know this situation, but what right. I will say is this. Right. If you're going to go out and talk about how you've been sexual harassed, you right. need to tell the whole story. You left out the big details that you had an intimate relationship with this man. Right. You had multiple, as you said, phone calls with this man. She made it seem like I signed up for a job. I did it. He contacted me. And then all of a sudden he did something on a phone call that made me feel uncomfortable. Right. She left out the biggest detail that they actually had an intimate relationship that went on for a long period of time. And what precipitated man. the phone calls in the first place? What is that? The fact that we were actually having a relationship. That's why I talked to you on the phone. And, and so that that's to me. And that's why yes. I just I went from. I, and again, I still believe women. But this is just a weird case because what what is the, even the governor, Gretchen Whitmer of Michigan. She even spoke about this, and she had a statement that she released, and it is a state institution, Michigan State. She talked about it as being a survivor, how she's shocked, and as a Spartan, she's disappointed. Now, what are we dis – you want answers. But, but you don't even know what the answer is, and you're already disappointed. And we're jumping to a conclusion, and again, maybe because, because – he's a black man. But because he's a black man is the yeah. reason why I feel so defensive because, again, looking at this situation, I was defending the woman, but now I don't know what to think because I felt like I was lied to initially, and I would hate for this to become a situation, Ken, where it was she asked for something like money or she was going to go public and try to ruin his career, and now what she does is she – basically loses credibility and slaps people in the face that actually, and she was raped, but when it comes to sexual harassment, you should not play around with that, and she should know the most about that. Well, what she did is that she accused him of making sexually suggestive comments and masturbating while she sat frozen for several minutes. Here's my question. How would you know that? Unless, unless you were doing FaceTime mm -hmm. or video and you saw it. But we don't have information on what happened afterwards. Did you tell him to stop? Did you not call him anymore and he called you? All that information is going to go through and get out. I think it's unfortunate that Michigan State didn't step up and say, we don't have enough information. But you know why they didn't? And, and the fact that somebody leaked the deposition is appalling to but me. You, but you know why? And I don't have all the information either. And, again, if, if she was set, if None of this, if she believes she was sexually harassed, regardless of the relationship that they formed, right. she can be sexually harassed. I was just disappointed in the lack of information that was put out there to paint this black man in a negative light and negative picture in the way that they did and not really having his fair say in right. what was going on. This right. was a relationship that they had. And many of us here have been in relationships before where you do certain things because you have this partnership with this person and this trust with this person right. that you feel like you can do certain things. They had that bond that was built, and she did right. it with a married man. And again, if she was sexually harassed, he should be he should be punished for it. But like you said, more. But how can you be sexually harassed when you're in a relationship with someone? I, Ken, they, maybe they had broken. And you off. sent them nude pictures. I, 
Maybe and you've have, done all the like I, I just I, it's just, I agree in more information I don't want to jump to any conclusions but what I do feel disappointed about is that nobody is stepping up and defending this black man I understand Michigan State has a long history of sexual harassment and sexual assault whether right. it's student athletes sexually harassing people right. where it came to the um, their old athletic trainer who actually sexually right. harassed a lot of gymnasts I understand right. the history and why they had to act the way they did but at some point somebody's gonna stand behind this black man and say hey what you could have done could be bad, but let's let all the investigation go through before we really jump to judgment. But we want to jump to judgment. We want to hold on to the negative and the bad because all men are bad, and that's just how it is. Uh, you know, it's uh, – <laughs> I, I am a millennial, and so I, I am, uh, I'm around a lot of people that feel that way. Nah, I don't really but, care. But I will say, <laughs> I, I'll say this, Ken. I, I do believe – I. I don't believe all women feel that way, and I don't believe all people feel that all men are bad. Just some. Don't Anytime you create a word, toxic masculinity. Well, but, but if I but if I say that, well, what's toxic about masculinity? There's toxicity in femininity I, too. I agree. Then I let's agree. call them something but, too. But no, I, not but. No. Okay. No. I agree. And how about no. that? I there agree you go. And, there you go. There you go. I agree. And but a lot of uh, and a lot of times in these situations, <laughs> when you talk about harmful things, toxic masculinity can lead to very harmful situations for other individuals. Because when we look at relationships, yeah, but we're, male but, we're, but no, it's it's too broad. We're sweeping it too broad. Well, when you say toxic toxic masculinity, and I'm a man, every that means you're saying that because I'm a man, there's something in me no, that's toxic. No, you're not toxic. We I don't that's what you're just saying. No, you can be toxic masculinity can be something that somebody portrays, but Ken, you don't portray that. You're just masculine. Even after you shave, I got more. And hair until than a right woman now. doesn't like it, then it's my. It, it's, it's toxic. It depends on the one. So the same thing that a woman likes about a man, she can call toxic and all of a sudden it's bad. Uh, yeah. That's my problem. I guess it depends on the That's woman. my problem. Well, the, guess what? Tired of women taking over the world. I, I'm actually, I'm all for women taking over nope, the world. No, absolutely these, not. These, these men it feminizes up. everything. Everything is soft. I mean. That's why many of the boys in the world today are soft. I, I mean, a lot of people are punk soft. millennials. I mean, punk Gen Z. I mean, well, I, I mean, I, I, now I, that's toxic. Who taught us? That's toxic. I didn't. Yes, you sure did. You I'm not your daddy. No, you I didn't dad. teach you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to your truth tape. Y'all better be responsible for <laughs> these kids. <laughs> so, what do you think the future of Mel Tucker is? I think the future. So, this is me trying to really process and use past history, right? To basically allow for me to know what's going to happen. And so what I want to happen, what I believe to happen, are going to be two completely different things. I do believe Mel Tucker will eventually be fired as the coach just because of the fact that the act that he did commit, he, he, he was infidelity. He cheated on his wife. He embarrassed the university. He didn't um, hold himself to a higher standard as a leader mm. of men. As a leader of men. Higher? Mm. A, as a leader of men of a, football t of a football program like that, when you make a mistake when it comes to cheating, like Bobby Petrino. Let's say a better standard, no. but not higher. But, okay, a better he's, standard. He's not Superman. The, the, mm. the institution gets to decide what they want their coach to be like. And with Mel Tucker, unfortunately. He that, dropped the ball. Yeah, that 90-plus million dollar contract. He's yep. going to end up losing that because of the fact that he decided to have this this situation shit where he cheated on his wife and he didn't know how to keep his side piece quiet. And so, I mean, again, <laughs> and, and again let me, I don't want to sound insensitive because he has been accused of sexual harassment and we will see when details come out. I guess when the details I saw, I, I feel a different way, but we'll see. But I do believe that Mel Tucker will no longer be the coach of Michigan State come 2024. Yep, that is true. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Your talking text line is pretty good. I look forward to <laughs> listening to the rest of the show. All right. 833-212-1017 is the number. Now, before I finish my top five and five, and before I take a break, I want to bring somebody on because there's an event uh, coming up this weekend, and it has to do with Greater Milwaukee Urban League. And on the line, I have Mr. Frederick Robinson. How are you, Fred? How's it going? I'm great, Ken. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So this weekend, there's an, a, a free admission event at the fourth annual art show at the Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing. Can you tell us something about that? Because, I mean, you're within walking distance from me, so I think I'm going to have to head up there. Yeah, please do, Ken. Yeah, this is the fourth annual 
um, our our show with uh, um, us at Greenwood Park teamed up with Milwaukee Urban League Guild um, to showcase artists and to raise um, awareness to our local artists here in Milwaukee. Um, it's Sunday, it's September 17th, between 2 and 6. All right. And, and so what and we do is... We, so it's, it's, we, it's we're, actually we're free, active. right? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so you're yeah, asking we, people to do to what? Book. We're asking people to bring um, art supplies for the NPS students. And um, we have... Um, we, we have refreshments, we have live entertainment, we, have, we, will, we will be having vendors mm-hmm. um, um, Sunday between 2 and 6. And that's Sunday between 2 and 6 at the Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing, 4233 West Fond du Lac in Milwaukee. And so from what yes, I understand, you, you also got some um, door prizes and some raffle tickets to give away as well, huh? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, we do. All right. Well, thank you for calling. And if you haven't checked it out, go by, check out the Greenwood Park Gallery, 4322 West Fond du Lac, this Sunday, September 17th. And that'll be from, what's what's the time for it? 2 p.m. till 6? All right. Yes, yes, sir. All right. And so they can look it up and they can just check Google and get information on your gallery. And it'll be a great thing along with the Guild of uh, Greater Milwaukee Urban League. Thank you much, Fred. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, Ken. Have right. a great day. You too. All right, bye. And so I'm going to be heading over there uh, Sunday afternoon because I want to check it out because um, they've got a gallery. They do framing. And, and it's cool because uh, they're donating artwork, and a percentage of the art sold goes to the Greater Milwaukee Urban League. Hmm. Very nice. We'll hit back to the hit back to the hmm. That's that's me thinking two things at one time. Get back to or hit the and I said hit back to the. Uh, you know what? We're gonna do the top five or five. I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. You are listening to Truth in the Afternoon with Dr. Ken Harris on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Truth Nation is the best fan base in the country. Good to talk to you, man. And congratulations real quick on all your awards, man. You deserve everything. Brother, I'm proud of you. I'm happy for you, man. I I heard you walked out of there like you was Beyonce with all them awards. (laughs) Hey. We want you to tap into the talk and text line every show, every day at 833-212-1017. You're on the new 1017 The Truth. Tap in. Milwaukee Black Talk. 1017 The Truth. It's time for Truth Takes, a thought-provoking commentary on the new 1017 The Truth. Here is Melanie Ricks with her truth. What's up, everybody? It's Melanie Ricks from Nothing But The Truth with Melanie Ricks. A thought that I have on my mind today, you have to put out the energy that you want to receive in return. I've noticed recently that I tend to have expectations for others that I don't also have for myself. For example... If I text my friend, I expect them to respond instantly. But if somebody texts me, oh, I'll take my time and respond whenever I'm good and ready to. So why is it that I feel as if others have to get back to me right away if I'm not willing to get back to them? That's just one minor example. But when it comes to work, let's say you're feeling dissatisfied with your job performance or maybe with the atmosphere, what's going on with work. Perhaps that you're hoping for a promotion of some sort and things just aren't going the way that you want. Okay, so what are you doing to fix that? What are you doing to work your way towards a better work situation? What is the energy that you are putting toward your job, toward your coworkers, even when it comes to family dynamics and other relationships or perhaps encounters with strangers? What is the energy that you are giving to the people around you? And what is the energy that you expect in return? I sincerely believe in the law of attraction and I very much do feel that what you put out is what you will receive. So if you are someone who feels as if you are not getting the best out of things in life, perhaps it's because you are not putting your best foot forward and you are not putting the best energy that you can toward those things. 
The law of attraction is real, y'all. I'm telling you. Listen to Nothing But The Truth with Melanie Ricks weekdays from noon to 1 p.m. This is 1017 The Truth, Dr. Ken Harris, and I am Milwaukee. Truth in the Afternoon is a platform where you and I can share our love, our lives, and our journey together. That is why, as a fan, your perspective is key. Join the home of Milwaukee's realest conversations where you can speak your truth. We are the new 1017 The Truth. Milwaukee Black Talk. This is Truth in the Afternoon with Dr. Ken Harris on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. You're listening to Truth in the Afternoon. I'm your host, Dr. Ken Harris. 833-212-1017 is the number for Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. This is the time to replace your drafty, old, decrepit, worn-out, wooden, vinyl, plastic, metal. Don't matter. If you got drafty old windows, you, you might want to replace them, like, not in the dead of winter. And we can see from outside it's, it's, it's starting to get a little chilly. Pella has a great deal going on for as low as $19 a month per window, $75 a month on a patio door. You can have installation completed with no muss and no fuss, leaving nothing but perfect results. Visit PellaWI.com. That's PellaWI.com. But you got to remember, it's 6.99% APR for 120 months. Certain restrictions apply. See showroom for details. Offer ends 930 of 2023. If you're interested or you're just looking around, check out PellaWI.com today. 833-212-1017 is the number. Number four. Well, well, well. I'm depressed today. I'm going to boycott. Of course, I haven't been there in God knows when. But I'm going to boycott. McDonald's is getting rid of one of the biggest perks they have. They're eliminating its self-serve soda machines by 2032. At all of its U.S. restaurants, the company said, explaining that the change will make the appearance experience consistent for customers and crew across the chain. What? For decades... You could fill up or refill your own drinks in the dining room. However, customer behavior has changed since the pandemic, and the chain has experienced a surge in business through its drive through and delivery services with fewer people choosing to eat in the dining room, reducing the need for the machines. That's what y'all, that's what y'all calling it? Well, McDonald's future includes restaurants, designs with smaller or no dining room whatsoever, a high-tech drive through to reflect the new reality, digital sales, through the app, now make up 40%, including through partners like Uber, 40% of its total sales according to its most recent earnings revenue. You're going to have to be so fast that I'm not going to notice I'm in line. Like I'm in line, and then the line moves, and then I get my food and I go. But if I got to sit there like some other slow who tell you, we make our burgers fresh. Well, that's cute, but it take too long. And I figure if, if Starbucks can figure out how to get me coffee quick, even though they make it, if I can wait that, and I've, heard, I've, I've seen people get beside themselves. Like weird beside themselves because it took like three minutes to make their, their multiple... Um, can I have a double half calf latte with, with, with three pumps of this and two sections of that and a spoonful of this and a sprinkle of, like, yeah, it's going to take a while to make it, but you think McDonald's is just going to go through and it's just going to be done. But you know, like me, 
I, I guess it's not going to be done. It's just going to, like, you know, sit there and wait like everybody else. Number three. Ooh, from CBS 58. Ooh, did y'all see it? Did y'all read it? Well, when Green Bay traded four-time MVP to the Jets, a conditional second-round pick for the 2024 draft was included. That pick uh, would have become a first-rounder if Rodgers played at least 65% of the Jets' snaps. Well, I guess we go into the second round because <clears throat> he played a snap, but the only thing that snapped was his Achilles. He, cuff, he, he suffered an Achilles tear. Um, four plays into the season, and now he's out for the season. And they got to pay him a boatload of cash because MRI today confirmed that Aaron Rodgers officially tore his Achilles on the fourth play of his Jets career. His season is now officially over, and they're already questioning about his Hall of Fame career is too as well. 38 years old, sitting on the ground, I guess I guess in football terms, thirty eight is pretty old, right? I mean, I never knew that. I mean, I'm just saying. I think um, I think it's important to remember that uh, I I just I just yeah. <sighs> I guess that's why I'm not a football player. Number two. This story troubles me a bit. And it's a little difficult to get through. 15-year-old Dennis King was brutally murdered. Um, Okay, this is weird. I'm trying to read this on a website and the... The ad in front of it won't move. So I literally can't read the story. This is bizarre. It's the one on Fox 6, Fox 6 Now, about the Milwaukee boy that was was, uh, killed in the city is settling the lawsuit. There's this thing in between it, and it's not letting me read the story. This is bizarre. Strange. Interesting. All right, let's try it again. After Milwaukee 15-year-old Dennis King was brutally murdered in May of 2018, his mother filed a lawsuit against the city. Milwaukee has moved to settle the suit for tens of thousands of dollars on yesterday. King's mother argued that the city and its employees were negligent and sued. The city is requesting to settle the matter for $50,000, the assistant city attorney Anthony Jackson said during a committee meeting on yesterday. The item was hard to miss on the agenda, but for the King family, it was years in the making. 2018, Malik Terrell was convicted and sentenced to life without parole for killing King. Judge David Borowski said this is a brutal, violent, sadistic act, and Terrell pled guilty to beating King, hitting him with a hammer, and stabbing him before taking his body to an abandoned home and burying it. It just breaks my heart that you torture my baby like that, said King's mother. He didn't deserve it. Early on in the attack, Terrell called 911 on himself. The caller had contacted the telecommunications division, indicated he had threatened and beaten up a victim who was bleeding badly. He even gave his name and address, and unfortunately, the operator incorrectly recorded the wrong address officer showed up to the wrong place and the caller continued to beat up this kid and he was unfortunately killed and his body was discovered nine days later the king's mother sued the city saying that they didn't follow proper procedure when they failed to verify the address she said that led to her son's death and the committee didn't say much in public but the words they did say brought the family some closure the full common council must now approve the settlement. So I think it's a long time coming. Um, It's strange because all you have to do is roll back 
and listen to the audio and see where the to see if you double checked and see what I'm, I'm pretty sure they do it now but you know you just hit back and you can actually roll back and listen to the recorded call to see if you got the address right. So, worst case, if you're telling me you killed somebody, I might call you back and double check. Now, I have to say, it's easy to armchair quarterback and say what should have happened. But when, 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 you're in the midst of doing something it can it it can really get a little um hectic and then sometimes mistakes are made mistakes are you know sometimes worth a lot of money more of truth in the afternoon with dr ken harrison is next on 1017 the truth the truth app and 1017thetruth.com Fred, why choose Erie Insurance? The passion that we put around your personal development and your growth. We pay for you to go to college. Wait, wait, what? Yes, we will help pay for you to go to college. So you get your foot in the door with us, we will help advance your career. Okay. We will help you get the designations, like I mentioned. It's even easier now. I'm doing it from the outset with our diverse communities to help them get these designations and licenses before you even show up inside the doors of Erie Insurance. Visit erieinsurance.com for more information. When you choose Ascension Wisconsin for your family's care needs, you'll get the right care at the right place at the right time, and you'll get an entire team ready to care for your family. Family medicine doctors care for the whole family, and Ascension Wisconsin will help make sure your family is up to date on screenings and yearly wellness checks. Ascension also cares for you when you are sick and helps manage ongoing chronic conditions. If you don't have a primary care doctor, go to GetAscensionWisconsinCare.com to find one today. The Age of Reason took place over 200 years ago. It was a time of amazing scientific and philosophical progress all over the world. Truth, reason, and tolerance thrived and even shaped the Constitution of the United States of America, the foundation of our democracy. But now those building blocks of America, of democracy, are under attack. In just two decades, big tech social media billionaires have allowed their platforms to roll back truth, facts, and tolerance and fill the screens in our homes and in our pockets with lies and hate. Online disinformation and hate affect everything, everyone, everywhere. It splits us apart, hurts our children, polarizes our societies, and is literally leading to violence and terror in our communities. Lies and hate everywhere are a threat to all people, anywhere. Be a part of the change. Help defend the future of our democracy. Go to counterhate.com to learn more. Do you worry about how much someone drinks? Do you feel angry or depressed most of the time? Do you feel neglected or unloved? Do you feel you attract people who tend to be compulsive or abusive? Do you have money problems because of someone else's drinking? Are you afraid or embarrassed to bring your friends home? Do you feel that if the drinker loved you, she or he would stop drinking. If you answered yes to any of these questions, you are not alone. More than half of all adults have a family history of alcoholism. Not everyone trapped by alcohol is an alcoholic. Families and friends are suffering too. Al-Anon and Alateen can help. Call 1-866-200-0223 or visit alanon.org slash help. We got some delays along westbound 894 at Loomis. We got the left lane blocked with some debris, and that's backing things up back through the Mitchell Interchange. Westbound 94 heavy out of the Marquette through the Stadium Interchange. Southbound on 43 going to be slowing down from Hampton Avenue down past Locust. The northbound side slow out of the Marquette all the way up to about Capitol Drive. And checking the TMJ4 Storm King forecast tonight. Chance of showers mainly early, then partly cloudy with a low of 56 at the lake, 50 inland. And tomorrow, a slight chance for a morning shower. Then, then it'll be mostly sunny, a high of 64 at the lake, 70 inland. For the WTMJ Traffic Center, I'm Debbie Lazaga on 1017 The Truth.
This is Associated Bank Sports Update on 1017 The Truth is powered by ESPN Milwaukee. I'm Brandon Snyam. The Milwaukee Brewers were back in action on a Monday night. Brandon Woodruff getting the start for the Brew Crew, delivering a masterpiece, tossing a complete game shutout, and the NL Central leading Brewers offense collected a season high 17 hits in a 12 0 win. Game 2 of 4 tonight from American Family Field. That first pitch is all set for 640. Over to football, where Aaron Rodgers led the Jets out of the tunnel on Monday night football, and it would be unfortunately a short night for the four time MVP, only lasting four snaps on offense before going down with an apparent ankle injury following a sack in the first quarter. Head coach Robert Sala delivering the news post game with an update on number eight. Concerned with his Achilles. Uh, MRI is probably going to confirm what we think is already going to happen. So prayers tonight, but it's not good. The Jets would go on to win the game in overtime by a final score of 22 to 16. This sports update is brought to you by Associated Bank, proudly supporting your hometown team's member FDIC. The Truth in the Afternoon with Dr. Ken Harris is next on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app at 1017thetruth.com. Now, you know she forgot my number one, right? Two can be as bad so I guess that's, one. I guess that's, that's Rhea's way to make up for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sit there all by itself. It was like, my finger was up and everything. I got one. Okay. And, I, and, and, and she played. And, and she played. I'm, so, I'm so sad. I was so sad. I'm sad. But this is a real number one. Oops, hang on. Pitiful. I'm pitiful. I'm following in your footsteps. I didn't press the wrong button. I didn't press the button at all. Thing. I got one. Okay. And and, 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 and she put and she put. Ha ha. He tripping. See, he he don't know what I do. I I get him sometimes. Are you trying to play producer? <laughs> No, you play your YouTube, and then you can get a, uh, see? Uh-huh. See? You learned something new, didn't you? DJ Brother Z just told me to shut up. That's all right. I got something for him. That's how he treat me. If if if, if he want to treat me that bad, I got something for him. But, you know, he ain't, he ain't all that. Yep. That's all right. Number one. So they finally brought something from Chicago to Milwaukee so y'all can actually calm down and eat real pizza. Well, Lou Malnati's recently celebrated 50 years of existence, but the Chicago based pizzeria has only been here for a couple years. I want some Lou Malnati's pizza. That's all I'm saying. Like, that's the only reason I did the show. So. I've eaten Lubanati's pizza since I was in college in Chicago, and it was phenomenal. I loved it. It was great. And so they're here, and, you know, we may have to do a um, trip. Might have to take a trip. Be live from from eating some pizza. Have you had Lumanati's pizza, by the way? Yes, and if we do on the trip, I'm coming too. Can I get a one? <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. <sighs> I'm only buying one pizza, so it better be a big pizza. Okay, as long as I get a slice. Now, if you've eaten Lou Malnati's pizza before, you know how big it is. I know. That's long okay. get one slice. You that's that's your lunch for the week. Yeah. You could cut that up into like I mean that piece on Monday and that piece on Tuesday. Yeah, it's 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 unfortunate that um their pizza tastes so good because once you've had Lou Malnati's pizza, it it'll it'll it just yeah. I can't even say it. Going back to Anybody else? I can't, I can't think of anybody whose pizza tastes better than Lou Malnati's. 
833-212-1017 is, can anybody tell me whose pizza tastes better than Lou Malnati's? Before we go to break, Winky Blue, you are on the award-winning 1017 The Truth. What's going on? Hey, good afternoon. I heard you talking about masculine toxic, uh, uh, toxic masculinity. Yep. And uh, I'm gonna tell you something. That's something that's swarming the swarming the country, man. Uh, to really defame men of the values, but there is toxic and there is artificial uh, masculinity. The men with the guns, the boys that's running around here with the guns, with the stick hanging out their pocket. Okay, them guys right there. That's 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 toxic masculinity, and it's really artificial masculinity because it it, it cancels all reasoning. Uh, uh, because you don't have to have the big muscles anymore. The girl ain't choosing you for the muscle no more. Uh, for the for, for how tall you is or how big you is to protect them, she choosing whoever got the biggest, baddest, blackest gun. You know what I'm saying? So toxic masculinity does exist to mm-hmm. that degree. But that, but that other stuff that they pushing needs to be pushed out the way and on the side. So I've got to get with you on that. You know, that the other stuff got to go. But there is some artificial masculinity, <laughs> man, to, to make a guy a man. I'm going to have to steal that man. one. I'm going mean, to have to steal that one, Winky. Well, well, that's the truth. All you right. know, they, they're masculine because they got the biggest, the longest stick hanging out their pocket when they go in the gas station. So, right. You know, so that's all artificial and it's not real manhood. And uh, But that other stuff needs to be pushed to the side. Thank you, sir. All Appreciate right. you. 833-212-1017 is the number. When we come back, I, I got a lot of stuff on here on the talking text line I might have to get back to. You are listening to Truth in the Afternoon with Dr. Ken Harris on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Milwaukee Black Talk. I firmly believe that some of these fatal shootings would not be fatal shootings if we had more black paramedics and EMTs. Now, I ain't got no proof, I ain't got no evidence, but I firmly believe But if an EMT or a paramedic, a white one from the suburbs, that's on their fifth response to a shooting, I think they're letting some of us die. I'm serious. I think, uh uh-oh, oh, he's flatlined, still got a pulse. Oh, yeah, there's nothing we can do for him. Listen to The Truth with Sherwin Hughes every weekday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Adrienne was seriously injured when a careless driver merged into her lane. Gruber was there for everything, everything that I needed. Any questions that I had, Gruber was there. They made me feel like everything about my situation and my accident was very important to them. And that made me feel good. And I would definitely call Gruber again for that. Serving Wisconsin for over 35 years, Gruber Law Offices, one call, that's all. They go above and beyond for their clients. Life's better with an auto policy from American Family Insurance. No matter what dreams you're driving towards. That's because our expert agents will make you feel totally protected with the right auto coverage at the right price. You'll also save up to 23% when you bundle auto with home. American Family Insurance. Get a quote, find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. When looking for a health care provider, you want someone who genuinely cares about you, which is why Health Connections Incorporated is where it's at. They're a black, woman-led nonprofit organization that provides both clinical and non-clinical health care. The direct clinical care they provide includes primary care, HIV care and prevention, and transgender help. HCI leaders are advocates, activists, decision makers, speakers, organizers, and collaborators on social determinants of health that impact healthcare access and health equity for all. Sign up for their mailing list at healthconnectmke.org. Truth Nation, it's your boy Tory Lowe, and I know how much you love listening to me bring all the smoke each and every day from one to four, but now, not only can you hear me bring all the smoke, you can watch me bring all the smoke because the award-winning 1017 The Truth is streaming live. Watch all your favorite shows live. Yeah, Truth Nation, you heard Tori Lowe, right? We are streaming all of our shows live every day. To watch the best radio station with the best on-air hosts in Milwaukee, you have to go to 1017thetruth.com and click the Watch Live link. From there, you'll be able to stream us on YouTube and Twitter and get an inside look on all the fun, like watching me from noon to one as I do my daily fire freestyle live. Now you know your girl got them bars, right, Benjamin? Hooray! 
Oh, yeah, Mel. You got them bars. And the truth is my CTV. So make sure y'all tap in to see my boy, Tori Lowe, and my girl, Melanie Ricks, to do their thing live every day by streaming 101.7 The Truth on YouTube and Twitter. We live, baby. This is Truth in the Afternoon with Dr. Ken Harris on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. You're listening to Truth in the Afternoon. I'm your host, Dr. Ken Harris. The Black Owned Business Give Back is back. We've teamed up again with Associated Bank to help local black businesses grow and succeed together. The home of Milwaukee Black Talk will be giving away $6,000 worth of free commercial advertising for three months to five black businesses each quarter in 2023. Sign up for this incredible marketing opportunity. Visit blackbusinessgiveback.com. That's blackbusinessgiveback.com. Let's rebuild our community's backbone through exposure on the truth. For official rules, head to blackbusinessgiveback.com, Associated Bank, member FDIC. You know, one, one of the reasons why I'm not moving to Florida or anywhere in the Gulf, like Georgia, um, Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, Texas, Arizona, maybe Arizona. Um, you know, the one of the reasons is because I'm looking at, they call it the Atlantic Basin, right? That space between the southern part of the U.S., Florida, the, the, the Keys, Bermuda, all those islands in between, um, all the British Isles, the Virgin Islands, the U.S. Islands, and that part of Cancun that sticks out, right? The Yucatan Peninsula, South America, Central. There are five storms brewing for, if you, well, it's four storms brewing. The fifth one is Lee that's headed to the U.S., so that's about to beat up the East Coast. And then there's one on the other side, and I don't know what that's called. On the other side, on the Pacific side of um, the U.S., on the Pacific side of the of 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 uh, Mexico and Central and Central America, that part there's a storm there too. So you got six storms about to spank the South. I don't think I'm. Yeah, I just don't think I'm moving south. If I move south, I'm moving west. Florida ain't going to happen. Ain't going to happen. Hurricane Lee is threatening New England. Ugh, I don't think so. It's 46 degrees in Minneapolis. See? Uh, uh -uh. Look at that. That's terrible. Terrible. It's terrible. It's starting to get cold. I don't like the cold at all. I'm good with heat. Cold? Can't do it. Can't do it. 833-212-1017 is the number. I got these talking texts on here. Mike from, uh, what? Is Kyle still in there? Okay, good. Salute to Kyle Wallace. Man, man, just because you got that big time three-hour show on ESPN. Check him out on 94.5 ESPN here in Milwaukee. We don't tell nobody. Um, <laughs> Sir Chan said um, she's in her 90s and still, oh, I don't need to know that. I don't. I don't, okay, stop. I think she was trying to shake him down and he bucked. Yep. That's exactly what I think when, when we were talking about uh, Mel Tucker. I think, I think she tried to get some loot and he was like, because she heard he had that $95 million contract. And she was like, so <clears throat> the fact that you pick now, because you started complaining last year, but. They did a deposition. Who releases the deposition? Who does that? It usually happens to us. When it's somebody they don't like, they make sure the deposition gets out in public. Okay, so let's say he did. He admitted we had a relationship. 
where is all that going? And why are you pushing the fact that she was a sexual assault victim years ago and she's an advocate? Is that germane to what happened now? Unless, and as soon as I heard it, I said, white woman. Because if it was a black woman, they would have outed both of them and we'd have been hearing about both of them. And I think that's unconscionable too. I'm trying to figure out what makes it public. The fact that he worked for Michigan State or he was a football coach or what? I don't know. Project said women should be put in jail and face civil charges for lying about rape and sexual assault. Let's have a trial first. Let's not go on what we feel or what we think. But the story was written crooked anyway because it didn't include a boatload of information. Like what he said, we get detail from her, we get a statement from him. Like that's all they played. There were no questions asked about certain things in her story like, well, how long did this take place? And if you talk to him multiple times, he didn't sexually harass you this time, but he did it that time, but that time made you mad, but this time didn't. It's like, huh? Hmm. Wow. 414-803 said hashtag toxic masculinials, hashtag toxic femininity, hashtag all humans can suck. Really? That's not true. That's not true. I think all humans are human and they make mistakes. Marquise on the talking text line said, um, Hup's Pizza. What's Hup's? Anybody know where Hup's Pizza? Now you're the second one that done said that today. Hup's Pizza. Na, 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 na. Hups, P-I-Z-Z-A. Got to be descriptive when you're on the radio. Um, <clears throat> do, 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 do. 54th and Hampton. All right, I'm going to have to check it out. I'm going to have to check it out. I'm, I'm not promoting it. I'm not, you know, doing that. I'm just saying I just heard about it, so I'm going to have to check it out. Okay. Hmm. Because I'd never heard of it. Which I think is weird because I used to work in District 7, so that means I must have. How long is this? Who, who was that? Let me check the talking. Let me have to check the talking text line. Um, who, who, who? There's always a line. How long has it been in business? I wonder. I wonder. So you're talking about pizza, but you can't say where it's located. But can you say where it's located? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, pizza joint is the suburbs far out somewhere. Um, Lou, yeah, Lou Malnati's is in Menominee Falls, maybe? Or somewhere out there? I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Marquis said reasonable pricing. Always, always a line. Ah, always a line. Always a line. Okay. I'm going to have to check it out. They got a Facebook page, so I'm going to check it out, see what time they open, see what time they're doing. They open now. Hmm. Hmm. They don't close till 9. I'm going to have to check them out. Especially a good black business in Milwaukee. Is it a black business, by the way? I should probably ask that because I don't know. But it's in my neighborhood, right? It's in the neighborhood, so we can go check it out. So we'll see. Now I'm not endorsing it, so don't don't get don't get it twisted. So if you go there and you find out that it's not good, that's on you. <laughs> Cause I didn't I didn't do that. So just so you know. Lou Malnati's Blue Mound and Brookfield. All right. Yeah, I gotta get me some Lou. Make me feel like I'm back home. You're listening to Truth in the Afternoon. I'm your host, Dr. Ken Harris. Tori Lowe show is coming back on at six o'clock. And then I'll roll around again around, I don't know, 4 o'clock in the morning. You got Mel coming back at 6 a.m. And then, truth be told, at 7. Start the day all over again. Thank you, Rhea.
you're number one with me. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Um, God bless. Take care. I'm out.